Hi guys, I am so excited to finally show you the bookbinding vlog and all the things I've been working on. I will try to always tell you what I am currently doing either on screen in real time or in voiceover. That way you can truly go and do something else while watching this vlog. Next to my many book related projects, we will also go on a walk with my dog Dino and I will later on show you how I train him every day. Let's dive right into it. Directly after I unpack my very first order, which contained many of the most important materials I needed, I get started with embossing already finished sketchbooks. These are the Hanami the Craft paper sketchbooks and this beautiful stamp I am using is from Stamperia. If you're not familiar with embossing, you have some heat reactive powder that you will adhere on a surface, mostly with an embossing pen or ink pad or some glue. Up until now I only worked with glue and glue pens, that way you are able to create very fine lines. But this time I worked with an embossing ink pad. It's like a normal ink pad, but it doesn't have ink, rather it has a very thin glue and whatever you stamp on your surface will then have the glue residue and you are able to sprinkle your embossing powder on top of it. It will only stick to the parts you just pressed your stamp down, which is so nice. And you can correct it with a brush, get rid of any excess embossing powder and clean up the design. Stamperia is an Italian brand. They actually mostly produce scrapbooking paper, also thin rice paper, stickers or stamps. Immediately when I saw this stamp I knew it would look incredible in front of a sketchbook and I wanted to emboss several with this motif. You take out your heat gun and apply heat. With the black embossing powder, it's the first time I used it, I had a difficult time seeing which embossing powder already melted and where I hadn't been with the heat gun yet. Usually with the gold and silver I use, there is no mistaking where you already went with your heat gun. It's now later in the afternoon. I am having my second coffee of the day and these are now fully dry. I wouldn't have thought it would turn out this good. Now these were the ones on the Hanemule craft paper sketchbook. I also have the Hanemule travelers sketchbook. The difference is they are a tiny bit smaller and therefore the stamp covers the page completely left to right but not top to bottom. And the inside of this is not craft paper but white paper. I do think it looks pretty as well. I do like the other one better but this one still is very cute. And there are people who want to have white pages instead of craft paper and I created two of these so far. I had to place a heavy book on there because this paper, the cover, was wrinkling a bit uh, while I was working on it with the heat tool. The other one, nothing, nothing at all, no problem, which is good to know. Now I will drink some coffee and then I'll continue with the project. So I want to build a little pouch that is on the last, the very last page of the book. Um, I believe I know how to do that so that you have a place where you can maybe put in a small sheet of paper or other little stuff you want to just start there. I think that would be very cute and I'm gonna work on that now. Let's go! Turns out I do know how to do that and I made a very short video just about how to make that pouch just so that people who don't want to watch a whole vlog know how to do it as well. I will link it up in the description box 
and you can check it out there if you are interested. And this kind of pouch is called a back cover pouch. Back cover because it is glued on the inside of the back cover of the book and pouch because it does have these folds that will help the paper open up just like a real pocket, a journal pocket. For the Traveler sketchbook, that one already has this cute little flap and I wanted to add another one inside the front cover and I believe this one is called a memento pouch. It does not have any folds or space to truly hold larger objects, but you can place a concert card, a ticket for the cinema, stuff like that, little mementos in there. The shape for this one is fairly easy. You can see how I'm working on it on the screen. And I use the book binding glue to adhere it on the inside of the cover. So I planned a lot before I actually ordered any supplies. I know exactly how much I need of what in order to create all of the projects I had in mind. What I am folding right now are the cut off pieces of very large sheets of paper. I am folding them into small laparellos. If you don't know what those are, they are little books that are folded. They have a front and a back, but it is made of one large strip of paper that is folded and folded and folded again. They are very popular for displaying photos and for sketchbooks. And I am using all of the cut off pieces to make all in all 50 laparellos that I will probably give as a gift when someone orders from my shop. Because these are the scrap pieces of the artist grade sketchbook paper I have from Fabriano, Kansen, Etival and Lana Colors, which are all paper brands, these laparellos will also be suitable for drawing. And even gouache, this paper is not for watercolors, but you can definitely use mediums such as gouache and tempera as well. Just don't drown it. Now one might wonder, why do I have so many scrap pieces of paper. How much paper was there, Francis? It was a lot. I believe I cut paper two days all day long. Only because I wanted to produce 12 sketchbooks, I spent a long time getting these four color palettes. The sketchbooks will have 32 pages all in all, and there will be four pages of each color you can see on the screen in that specific sketchbook. I decided to theme them into forest, water, fantasy, and ancient. These are the larger hardcover sketchbooks I want to create. But let's take a look at the Leporellos, which I pressed in my homemade book press while I cleaned up the studio. As you can see, I used colored paper to give the Leporellos a front and back cover. Only very few of them had to be separated with this palette knife because there sometimes was a tiny bit of glue, but it was easily opened up. Now that the book press is free, I'll use it to flatten the signatures of the fantasy sketchbook. You can see how I create my very first fantasy sketchbook in the next video. That was all I did book project wise that day. And we continue with the morning walk on Monday. I'll see you in a bit back home. Hey stranger look my way You knew in town I'm wondering your name And I'm guessing that it's Real pretty and then some Hey stranger look my way The coffee wasn't great but I'll stay anyway And come back tomorrow And order another one Because I like everything about you I like everything about you Yes I do Active wearing things, mm -mm, you should.
sure know how to do I see you standing there wearing flowers in your hair and think hey you sure look like you I'm eating some pasta for lunch. Now you can see me. I had a successful morning. I did 45 minutes of yoga. I went for a beautiful walk with the dog. He is less anxious now, or at least he can deal with it better. The only thing he is still struggling with are other dogs when we walk towards them. He uh, flips, he barks, he is very anxious and uh, not yet consolable. <laughs> I hope he will, we will, well we are, we are working on it obviously. We are training every day on every walk, I'm training with him. He'll get there. I have confidence in him. Now I have some very exciting news. I ordered a lot of things for my bookbinding projects. And today, when I came back from the walk, the last package was in front of my door. That means I'll show you in a second after I finished my lunch what is in the package and then we can continue with the book binding. I'm very excited and I'll see you in half an hour or so. I'll see if my room with Greta. Rookie. You and Greta? Drink up. Oh, God. Oh, the height. The height. Who does what? What is this place? Here. Be quiet for a while. Sure. That was a really sad episode. I almost cried. I'll try and lift my spirits by unpacking the last of my bookbinding order and showing it to you. I saw you inside, it was a coincidence You show sure like the friend and toxic things to make you feel alright Now I'm sitting here, holding back tears and fears You're just my type Let's take a closer look. I have some bookbinder yarn, which is a linen thread. I have three packs of two. And that is very, very sturdy. You can almost um, not break it without using scissors. Then I have an awl. You know, in German, there's this saying, when you buy cheap, you buy twice. And this one <laughs> is a good example of that. Because I was too cheap to actually buy a good all, which cost 5 euros more than this one. I got the cheap one and it is crooked. I don't know if you can tell, but it really is crooked. It is also losing metal. Whatever it is uh, dipped in, it is losing it in my bookbinding project. So this is not really a precision tool, not what I need. I will send it back and then I got a real all instead. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that should do nicely. And while trying to bind my practice books, I bound uh, four practice books so far. I broke three needles, <laughs> which made me believe that maybe I should get the special bookbinding needles. 
because I was using normal needles, old ones from my gra grandma. I'm not quite sure what is special about them, but this is a set of 25, so I'll be fine if I break some of them as well. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good. They don't uh, change in thickness that much. The tip is pointy and normal needles, they get thicker towards the little hole, which does have a special name, which I can't recall in English, and these ones don't. Also, these are slightly thinner, thinner than the awl, which should work nicely as well to get it through the pre-punched holes. Now, I am very, very excited for these ones. This is a diary interior for the year 2023. I was so happy when I found this because it has the exact design that I like. You can see one week as soon as you open it. Let me show you. This is the interior design. You have Monday through Sunday. And there are many, many different languages. Also, I love this design for time batching, having the hours of the day. And then you have notes for each day except Sunday. There is a large overview of 2023 and then there is a slightly smaller overview where you have one month per page. Oh, I love this as well. This is so good for content planning. Then we have a world map with the time zones and then your agenda starts. An overview of 2024. Addresses and phone numbers. Oh, there are, just, I was just thinking that's, that is not enough, but uh, it starts here. ABC all the way. And then, oh, we have a map of Europe. Ah, uh, that is impressive. All right, this, this exceeded my expectations. I'm very happy with it. I bought three of them because I do want to design two calendars and sell them on Etsy. I have lots of ideas, but I'll keep you posted on that. One will be for me and two I will uh, sell on Etsy. And then I have a pack of 10 from the brand where my um, watercolor sketchbook is from. It's called Kunst und Papier, which means art and paper. They are situated in Kassel in Germany. And this is a pack of 10 sketchbooks. Just like the Traveler's sketchbooks, I will design the covers. They do have a little sticker that you can place on the front. You just saw this while I was unpacking it. It is huge. It is 50 times 70 centimeters, which is the exact size of most of my decorative paper which is also why I got it, so that I can put my decorative paper in there. These three I got in my order as well. Oh, they are so cute! I wish I had had this earlier because I had to fold my other decorative paper in order to store it. And now there are these fold lines. Ugh. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, it's a bit too long. Dang it! I'll just fold it in half. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me on my art adventures. If you are not interested in seeing my dog do tricks in the garden and play, then you can end this video now. Thank you again for joining and I hope to see you in the next one. If you do, however, want to spend the last one and a half minutes watching Dino, let me tell you a bit about what I'm doing. I'm working heavily on his impulse control. That means he has to stay and hold his tricks for a longer time. I try to stretch it out more and more every day. He doesn't have trouble doing the trick, he has trouble being patient, sitting, waiting. That is what I need to train.
I do that for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I, as a reward I will play with him with his favorite toy in the garden. Also every now and then while I am playing I will tell him to stop. I'll throw the toy around and tease him but he is not allowed to react. And then I throw it away, he's not allowed to run after it. Only when I tell him, okay, then he may run. And the playtime continues. In the next video, we will bind the very first hardcover sketchbook with the colored pages. If you have any special questions you want answered, let me know in the comments. I will tell you about the process. I can also tell you about the basic steps I am following to create the sketchbook. If you want a deep dive into bookbinding, I would do so in a completely separate video. But as always, I love to hear your thoughts and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.